falling from down under. This is what uh, Hurricane Dorian looks like at the moment. Uh, but it was interesting just to have a look because when I uh, when I made my video about the cyclone in the Arctic and I showed the stuff from um, uh, Earth Knoll School, uh, people or some people expressed that they were rather dubious about it because the um, the wind speeds uh, were so low. So how could it possibly uh, be a cyclone? Well, uh, the winds. Um, as far as I know, for Dorian are about 180 uh, miles per hour, gusting up to over 200 miles per hour. But let's just have a look at what uh, Earth Knoll School says. So we'll go into the eye of, of the storm, and it says, oh, 40 kilometers per hour. Yeah, that's really, that's really fast, eh? That's slower than uh, what's in the Arctic, according to us. 68 kilometers per hour. 42 kilometers per hour, 49 kilometers per hour. So those are not exactly, uh, even though we know that we've got the, the most uh, extreme hurricane in uh, recorded history, um, uh, those are the speeds that, are, that we're being told. So uh, I'm just going to go and check one other thing. Um, yeah. And 998 hectopascals. Uh, now that's interesting. Thousand. Now that's actually, uh, despite everything, uh, the air pressure is higher than the Arctic cyclone. So uh, that just shows the uh, uh, the complexity of all of this. Uh, it's a bit of a postscript, really.